Welcome back, everybody, to another episode of Day in the Life, right? Now, more multiple choice questions here on examprep.ai on trade receivables today. Let's jump right in. What amount should Tinsel report as uncollectible accounts expense at year end? Well, we had balances and allowance for uncollectible accounts of 70 at the beginning of the year and 55 at the end of the year. During the year, receivables of 35,000 were written off as uncollectible. All right, so we are trying to see, based on all of this, what is the increase to uncollectible accounts expense. Remember, allowance for uncollectible accounts is the contra account to our accounts receivable. So same as if we were talking about, we have, we have, let's say equipment, and then we have accumulated depreciation. We have AR, and then we have allowance for doubtful. And it's the same treatment. It's the same exact treatment. And then similarly, we also have, like how do you increase accumulated depreciation? You increase it through depreciation expense. And then how do you increase allowance for doubtful accounts? Well, that's through, here it says uncollectible accounts expense. I'd say uncollectible accounts expense or bad debt expense, depending on the terminology and method being used. Same process, right? So these expenses are gonna increase these contra accounts, which in turn reduces the original asset account of either PPE or AR. There's our treatment there. And let's use that sort of logic to answer this question. Well, if we know that 35,000 was written off during the year, that is gonna be in addition to our expense. It's just gonna be written off. That's going to account for uh, some of the change here. So that's immediately $35,000 of bad debt expense, uncollectible accounts expense, now, what do we do with the change? We have a change and it looks like the allowance went down. Okay, well, if the allowance went down, that could be likely maybe we collected, you know, maybe we completely wrote it off, but let's say likely we collected that money. We thought we weren't gonna collect it, but we ended up collecting it. All right, that is actually going to be, here, it's gonna be a reduction to this 35,000. Think of it like this 35 was bad. It's, it's you know, we're adding to our bad balance because you don't want uncollectible accounts. I mean, generally speaking, you know, I don't know why you would. Now this is good because we collected, what is this? The difference here is 15,000. So we're gonna subtract out 15,000 for a total of 20,000. That's our uncollectible accounts expense at year end for this period. Awesome. Awesome, awesome, we're off to a good start. Let's see what this next question has in mind for us. When the allowance method of recognizing bad debt expense is used, the allowance would decrease when what? All right, so that allowance is what we talked about before, the allowance for doubtful accounts, that's the contra account to AR. And when a specific uncollectible account is written off under the allowance method of, of how you recognize the bad debt expense, that allowance for bad debt account is going to decrease. So the allowance method of recognizing bad debt expenses used, the allowance would decrease when what? Well, that's going to be when a specific uncollectible account is written off, similar to what we just saw previously. The provision for uncollectible accounts is recorded. Nope, that's not, that's going to, not gonna be our answer there. Uh, account previously written off is collected. Nope, it's the opposite. Account previously written off becomes collectible. That's not gonna really have an effect. It's only when it's collected. So leaving us with our final answer here of letter D, specific uncollectible account is written off. Awesome, thank you for joining today. Keep going strong in your studies. You got this. It's gonna take time, but that's what you're here for. You're here to power through and see yourself through the exam. Keep going at it and I'll see you later.